focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. ARAI presents Symposium on International Automotive Technology 2017 and ARAI 50 years. Hello and welcome to Symposium on International Automotive Technology or SEAT presented by Automotive Research Association of India and powered by CNBC TV 18. Well, it's the 15th edition happening in Pune and this international event serves as an important forum for exchanging ideas and knowledge from the areas of automotive engineering and technology. On this show, I will be bringing to you all the major highlights on this mega event. To begin with, let's take a look at the grand inaugural ceremony. Symposium on International Automotive Technology is an event organized by ARAI. Over the years, the event has grown in stature and is now considered as a prestigious automotive event in the global automotive fraternity. At its picturesque campus in Pune, this edition of SEAT assumes a special significance since ARAI turns 50 a month prior to the symposium schedule. SEAT 2017 was a memorable one as it embraced the grand finale of ARAI's Golden Jubilee program. This year we are having more than 180 stalls and 11 countries are participating in this. And this is the perfect platform for all the companies to showcase their technology development in automotive domain as well as their testing and uh, evaluation solutions. There will be a 50 success stories which we are showcasing in, in this complete SEAT and it is available. People can go through it and basically what we say that we are actually what is what we call as a make in India, design in India, innovate for India, validation in India. So all these type of things we can do it and lot of MNCs, lot of Indian uh, OEMs are taking the advantage of this and that, that type of technology demonstration is now going on. You get to meet a lot of other people, other developers, other suppliers, buyers. You get to meet the government who can tell you about the regulation framework. You get to meet people from this uh, ARAI who are our main help in developing these standards that are very relevant for the auto industry. Much bigger occasion this time and many more developers and you know equipment manufacturers and OEMs have come from all over the world. In uh, this CH you will see a display of technologies focused on these. Um, we are also displaying technologies for future mobility solutions such as autonomous vehicles, connected vehicles, smart mobility. These are the focus areas for us. SEAT is a good platform because uh, there are a lot of engineers. It's a good networking platform. There are interesting sessions on uh, safe mobility and sustainability. So we network uh, and uh, we try to promote our product like you can see here on the booth. Well, SEAT Expo 2017 features a spectrum of worldwide companies showcasing automotive products and technology solutions. The theme of SEAT Expo 2017 is smart, safe and sustainable. So let's take a look at some of the latest innovations that resonate with this theme of SEAT Expo 2017. India will leapfrog from the Bharat stage for emission norms that are now in force to the BS6 norms by 2020. Introduced in 2000, the Bharat norms are emission control standards put in place by the government to keep a check on air pollution. Based on the European regulations, these standards prescribe limits for the release of air pollutants from equipment using internal combustion engines, including vehicles. Taking heed of the BS6 norms likely to be implemented by 2020, many exhibitors showcased innovations enhanced to meet the BS6 norms. What we are talking about is the testing of the bikes, uh, which is usually done in the lab. And whatever you are uh, running the vehicle on the road, how you can simulate the condition in the lab. So this system is called chassis dynamometer. 
and it is used to simulate the road condition in the laboratory. Uh, the regulation, what we talked about, usually what they do is, you know, they run the vehicle as per the drive cycle, and then at the end, actually, they do the, the calculation. But in the real time, when you take the data, you can instantly see where your emissions are coming more, emission coming uh, less. So you can continuously work on that and improve your vehicle. We are showcasing our electric car here, along with a bi-directional charger. Now this is a special charger that allows you to charge the car from the house. If you have grid supply or solar panels, you can use that to charge the car. But it also allows you to use the car itself as a huge battery pack, as a UPS, to charge, to run things in your house if you have a power outage. Or if you would want to push it back to the grid and do net metering, you can do that also. So we're showcasing this as an ecosystem that enables people to go off grid if they require. When we build a prototype, we need to test it, we need to evaluate the performance, and you need to have a feel of the product beforehand and before getting it to actual production. Most of our customers in the erstwhile ways used to actually produce prototypes, put in a lot of time, okay, and once the prototype is ready, they would test it and then come out with defects. And these defects have then to be corrected in the design stage. So this is something that we can shorten. We can help our customers reuse this uh, development time and the cost of manufacturing by producing a virtual prototype. Okay. This is another key technology towards a sustainable future. India has taken up the big challenge of implementing Bharat's Stage 6 in 2020. As of today, most of the passenger cars are using ceramic substrate technologies. And when we move towards 2020, it is not just sufficient that we clean up combustion inside the engine, but we will also have to implement exhaust after treatment technologies, which are more efficient. And in this context, metal substrates helps you to come closer to the exhaust, have much higher temperatures which are uh, enabled inside these substrates, and that enables you to have close coupled catalyst, which brings across uh, much cleaner emissions. Here. This engine now we have taken to the next level. We have introduced deactivation of the cylinder into this engine. So now for city rides, one cylinder is deactivated, which means this results in better fuel efficiency and better emissions. We have also introduced the variable compression ratio into this engine, which means you can change the compression ratio of the engine. In technology terms, this is again beneficial for more power and more uh, fuel efficiency. This is one of the state-of-the-art engines which would go in the future for a long run. So the technology we are showcasing here is called as thermoelectric generators. Uh, here we can see these are the special uh, cells which actually converts the, the heat from the exhaust systems and converts into electricity. And this can help us uh, reduce the CO2 norms, CO2 emissions by 2 to 3 percent. And this technology is currently in advanced technology phase and we expect uh, it will take at least uh, three to four years uh, to be ready for the production. Well, with that, it's time for a short break, but don't go anywhere because on the other side, we show you how day two panned out at SEAT Expo 2017. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Well, it's the second day at SEAT Expo 2017 and it looks nothing short of exciting. Now, safety is prudent and also one of the most integral features when it comes to automobiles. Well, day two focuses on ramping up some of those safety features to further precision. So let's take a deeper look at what it had to offer. Day 2 at SEAT 2017 witnessed delegates throwing light on key issues concerning mobility and its efficiency. I think it's far better that we focus on road transport, which in means cars but also includes trucks and buses. The transport sector also would have to become more efficient and move to more and more renewable sources. 
we have heard a lot of arguments that sustainability also includes efficiency. And I can only wholeheartedly agree with this approach. We have to go sustainable. We have to make major changes in the transport sector, how it is managed, how transport and mobility is provided for, how these technological innovations are going to make that happen. And when um, I look at the map and I look at the economics, it's obvious, one billion people in India. If India is making a major change towards sustainability, actually a big part of the global commitment is achieved. The, the rapid changes in development, uh, particularly in available technologies in connectivity, sharing, autonomous and alternative propulsion, such as electrification, is enabling us really to sh shape this future. It is the conversion and integration of these technologies, or the way we see it, that we're working across multiple fronts and countries to create an integrated network of technologically driven vehicles. The third is around autonomous driving. And we see that the active safety and rapid advances in connectivity are providing the foundation for increased vehicle uh, automation. Another plenary session was conducted on futuristic mobility, indicating the possibility and efficiency of technological advancement in the automotive sector. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of this session. Right from 2000, where the greenhouse gas emissions from the overall greenhouse gas emissions, if we don't do anything, where we will end up in, say, 2050. So based on that, and uh, based on the evaluation of various means that how this can be done, a lot of actions have been uh, taken throughout the world. And uh, if you see the hybrids, EVs, different fuels, fuel cell vehicles, and uh, mixing, uh, shifting in the uh, travel, uh, rather reduction in the uh, vehicle travel, shifting in the types of fuels or improving the fuel efficiency are the various means by which we can improve the current situation and uh, contribute in terms of uh, the sustainable mobility. When we see the emission legislation, and here is an example of India, where we come over from barrage four to uh, barrage six, we have to deal more and more with the VLTP cycle and also with RDE processes. To, to come to the realistic uh, situation of, of passenger car in the cities and on the highway. The new WHO World Health Organization new findings, and uh, I'm mainly talking about the uh, uh, Indian market here. You can see there are 13 cities and uh, show here and uh, with the most air pollution. And uh, of course, we are using the PM 2.5 as an index here. And uh, most of those areas are concentrated in the northern of uh, India. And if you look at OEMs and what they've done on the engine development side, I mean, I think there's been a really strong level of breakthrough innovation there. If I, if I look back at, at my community of the emission control space, it's, it's been pretty light. We're all comfortable doing this incremental thing. It's very safe politically within companies. And it's good to leverage you know, current development. But really, the emission control space is crying out for innovation. And that's innovation that can be brought into the marketplace and that, that can be affordable. Renewable sources of energy are becoming crucial with increasing pressure on the environment. In light of the significance that sustainability is gaining, ARAI also hosted a plenary session on sustainable mobility. Take a development view of this mobility. Our energy consumption is going to go up nine times. At SEAT 2017, the focus was on achieving a uniform understanding of what constitutes sustainable mobility. As the central theme of SEAT 2017 is smart, safe and sustainable mobility, SEAT 2017 focused on recent advances in various automotive areas such as safety, emissions, engines, noise, electric mobility, alternate fuels, electronics, intelligent transportation, structural reliability and vehicle dynamics etc. It brought forth innovative ideas and solutions in automotive technologies to meet future challenges. This is a seatbelt convincer. 
Here we are trying to educate people about the importance of the seat belt. Generally in India and while we are traveling in the traffic, we don't know the severity of the impact, of a low speed impact. While traveling in a, uh, a traffic, we generally think that the speed by which we are traveling, it may be 10 or 20 kmph, we think that the impact is not so severe that we need a seat belt. So we abstain from wearing a seat belt. So here we are going to show you a demo why seat belt is necessary by actually simulating a low speed impact using this seat belt convention. Okay, so let's head and see what will happen if we don't wear a seat belt or what will what is what is the type of the jerk we are going to get in a low speed impact. It's time now for a short break, but don't go anywhere because there's a lot more coming up on the other side as we explore the final day at SEAT Expo 2017. India has come a long way in the world of automotive sector. The focus of Indian government on reducing air pollution, encouraging electric mobility coupled with thrust on reducing road accidents and fatalities through smart and intelligent solutions has driven the industry to advance their R&D efforts. SIA 2017 happening on this backdrop will be an ideal platform for the researchers around the globe to deliberate on their ideas addressing global challenges faced by the automotive sector. Welcome back. It's the final day at SEAT Expo 2017 and we have a lot more interesting features to explore. Now, with increasing pressure on environment across the globe, sustainable mobility seems to be the need of the hour. Keeping in mind this year's theme of SEAT Expo 2017, the Expo features one of the indigenous solutions offered by ISRO through electric mobility. Now, well, that sounds interesting. Let's go ahead and check out what that is. Now everybody is worried about pollution, particularly urban pollution, a common congestion. We all go through it and electric mobility is a solution for that. It avoids a local pollution, it allows it to be more silent, so no noise pollution and no tailpipe pollution. Another highlight of the last day at SEAT 2017 was the unveiling of the autonomous vehicle introduced by ARAI. In light of safe mobility, ARAI brought forth its latest innovation, a four-wheeler that is controlled by sensors. It is claimed to be much safer as the sensors fixed on the car can sense 360 degrees and further than the human eye. This has reaffirmed that the need of the hour is not just driverless vehicles, but also driver-assisted vehicles with better reaction and intelligence, which an automated vehicle like this claims to promise. These vehicles or these functions are autonomous in reduce the dependency on a driver, particularly in the safety critical conditions. So in the emergency, the, it will actuate by itself rather than depending only on the drivers. So it increases the safety perspective of it. It also adds to the comfort and convenience to the drivers because then they will be more safer that somebody is there to take care of them. SEAT provides a common platform for national and international experts to share their thoughts from various fields of automotive technology. Overseas experts get a chance to interact with their counterparts from the Indian automotive industry and also explore tie-ups and possible business avenues. There may be some technology which is useful in the European or American market, but how it is useful for the Indian market and for the Indian customers, Indian uh, researcher technologists who are coming here, they also will be aware of what is happening actually in the world. And that, that, uh, so that type of technology uh, transformation is very much possible at ARA. Euro 6 norms are already notified in Europe. Here we see a lot of foreign delegates, foreign experts, speakers, they are exchanging their views and Indian auto industry, their top level executives and R&D engineers, they are interacting with them, they are listening to them. So this is a great platform because at the moment, everybody in India, all the automotive industry is in that development mode. 
The symposium concluded with an award ceremony acknowledging the contributions of various participants who were part of SEAT Expo 2017. जो कार निर्माण करने वाले वो सभी अपने कारों का निर्माण आज भारत में कर रहे हैं वो महाराष्ट्र के पुणे में हो रहा है तमिलनाडु में हो रहा है हरियाणा में हो रहा है आज पुणे एक हॉटो हब के नाम से जाना जाता है इन सारे कारों का निर्माण भारत में इसलिए हो रहा है कि आज विश्व में इस कार की दुनिया में सबसे यदि बड़ा बाजार कौन सा है तो वो भारतीय बाजार है at Expo 2017 offers appropriate platform for automotive and allied companies to display their products, technologies, innovation, services through various stalls. This year, the Expo witnessed some unique works of professionals, engineers and academicians from the field of automotive technology, making for yet another successful edition of SEAT. Well, that's it from the 15th edition of SEAT. We saw numerous exchange of ideas, new technologies and innovations and some really eye-catching designs. With that, the show has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I did bringing it to you. Until next time, goodbye and thank you for watching. ARAI presents Symposium on International Automotive Technology 2017 and ARAI 50 Years. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.